Hey guys, so I thought that I would do a bookshelf tour of one of my bookcases. Now I do have several, but I figured this is a good start. I'm going to skip intros today just because I have a lot of books to get through. But for the stacked books, please forgive me if I don't pull all of them out because they will be impossible to put back. Also, I'm very short. My bookcase is very tall, so please bear with me as I try to film this on my tippy toes. Sweet Unrest by Lisa Maxwell. Unite Me by Tara Mafi. Silver Linings Playbook by Matthew Quick. Forgive Me Leonard Peacock by Matthew Quick. Sorta of Like a Rockstar by Matthew Quick. Slammed by Colleen Hoover. Point of Retreat by Colleen Hoover. Sold by Patricia McCormick. Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist by Rachel Cohn and David Levithan. Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion. Vixen by Jillian Larkin. Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins. Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. Dreamland by Sarah Dessen. The Circle Trilogy by Ted Decker, which includes white, red, and black. The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak. The Dust of 100 Dogs by A.S. King. Pride and Prejudice and Zombies by Jane Austen and Seth Graham Smith. Shatter Me, Unravel Me, and Ignite Me by Tara Mafi. The Infinite Moment of Us by Lauren Miracle. My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. Everybody Sees the Ants by A.S. King. If I Stay and Where She Went by Gail Foreman. Project 17 by Lori Farias Dolartz. Blue Bloods, Masquerade, Misguided Angel by Melissa De La Cruz. Peter Pan by J.M. Barry. The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbotsky. The Great Gatsby and The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. The Princess Bride by William Goldman. 99 Days by Katie Cotugno. Paper Towns by John Green. Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. The Immortal Rolls by Julie Kagawa. In the Shadow of Blackbirds by Cat Winters. Memoirs of a Teenage Amnesiac by Gabrielle Zevin. The Iron King, The Iron Daughter, and The Iron Knight by Julie Kagawa. I also own The Iron Queen, but it is currently not on my bookshelf. Born at Midnight by C.C. Hunter. Perfect Chemistry by Simone Alcalas. Why We Broke Up by Daniel Handler. And Another Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Sweetly by Jackson Pierce. Choker by Elizabeth Woods. Love Letters to the Dead by Ava Dallara. Winger by Andrew Smith. A Darker Shade of Magic by B.E. Schwab. Every Last Word by Tamara Ireland Stone. Isla and the Happily Ever After by Stephanie Perkins. Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. The Selection. The Elite. The One. The Air by Kira Kaus. Cinder. Scarlet. Cress. Ferris. The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer. The Evolution of Mara Dyer. And The Retribution of Mara Dyer. All by Michelle Hodkin. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secrets. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows. All by J.K. Rowling. Revolution by Jennifer Donnelly. The Greatest Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. Four complete novels by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Complete Tales and Poems by Edgar Allan Poe. The Diviners by Libba Bray. The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. The Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black. Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. Fire Will Fall by Carol Plum Bucci. A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray. Anna Dressed in Blood by Kendar Blake. Girl of Nightmares by Kendar Blake. Revelations by Melissa Delacruz. The Van Allen Legacy by Melissa Delacruz. Asylum by Madeline Rue. The Summoning by Hilary Monahan. The Devouring and Fearscape by Simon Holt. Nightmares by Jason Siegel and Kirsten Miller. The Killing Woods by Lucy Christopher. The Haunting of Sunshine Girl by Paige McKenzie. 
172 Hours on the Moon by Johann Harstad. Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea and Between the Spark and the Burn by April Genevieve Tushok. Possessed by Kate Kahn, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children and Hollow City by Ransom Riggs. Ruby Red, Sapphire Blue and Emerald Green by Kirsten Gear. Divergent, Insurgent and Allegiant by Veronica Roth. Mirror Mirror by Gregory Maguire. Careless People, Murder, Mayhem, and the Invention of the Great Gatsby by Sarah Churchwell. The Good Luck of Right Now by Matthew Quick. The Light Between Oceans by M. L. Stedman. The Storyteller by Jody Picoult. Landline by Rainbow Rao. Incarceron by Katherine Fisher. This Song Will Save Your Life by Layla Sales. Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn by Stephanie Meyer. And just in case you're curious what other little knickknacks and trinkets I keep on my bookshelf, I have this old photograph that's in a tin frame that I actually got from a little antique store because I'm weird and I like to collect old photographs of people I don't know. On this shelf, I also keep my sunglasses. Here I have another old photograph that I found at that same antique store. Here I have a rose and a little glass vase. I don't remember where the little glass vase came from. This fake rose I actually got back in high school during a Breaking Dawn release party when the book came out at a Borders near my house. And it was actually a lot of fun and there was cake and a lot of food. So they went pretty all out for Breaking Dawn's release. I also have this little bookmark that I drew because that's what I do because I never buy bookmarks. I also had this Beauty and the Beast snow globe that I actually got when I saw Beauty and the Beast on stage and it was amazing. Here I have a jar sitting on my shelf from when I did the Rip It or Ship It book tag and I just still haven't thrown it away. On this shelf I have a Loki pop bobblehead that my brother gave me because he knows how much I love Loki because Loki's amazing. On this shelf I have a spinning picture frame that was actually a birthday gift my best friend gave me back in high school and she filled it with lots of pictures of us which obviously all the pictures are very outdated now. I even have my natural hair color in these and that was a long time ago but it makes me very happy because she's still my best friend and I like being able to see it every day. Around the picture frame I actually put this magnetic bracelet that I got at the Rosicrucian Museum in the Bay Area. Which, if you've never been there, it's a really, really cool Egyptian museum and it's really awesome. And if you ever get a chance to go, please go because it's super cool. And behind the picture frame, I actually have this really cool, I don't know if you can see it, mischief managed jar that Cassie from Miss Sassy Cassie actually sent me for Christmas. And it's super cool and I love it. And what better place to keep it than on my bookshelf? So there you have it. All the books on my main bookcase. I do have several other bookcases and eventually I plan to do a bookshelf tour for those as well but these are at least the books for my main one although they may be missing several books because I tend to read more than one book at a time. I hope you enjoyed this and if you saw any books that you're interested in hearing me talk about please let me know in the comment section and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.